welcome, welcome to 5 Orange Vibes, where we inform you about activities that took place at UNFPA Ghana over the past week. In our headlines, 1. UNFPA commemorates FGM event in Posiga. 2. Orange Lot hosts youth Twitter chat. 3. Young people are to take action towards Agenda 2030. 4. Trigmatic calls for safe spaces for young people. And 5. Young people share thoughts on youth empowerment. To the details, UNFPA commemorates FGM event in Pusiga. UNFPA Ghana, in collaboration with the Upper East Regional Coordinating Council and the Pusiga District Assembly, organized a symposium to mark this year's International Day of Zero Tolerance for Female Genital Mutilation, FGM. The event was characterized by sensitization of participants on the harmful social and health implications of FGM through the screening of the film Woman, which depicts the harsh realities of the impact of FGM on women. Orange loves host youth Twitter chat. The Orange Lot hosted over 80 young people in a Twitter chat organized by the World Food Program WFP and the Youth Leaders Fellows of UNFPA. The goal was to promote young people's knowledge on the SDGs, particularly on nutrition, food security and youth empowerment. Present at the Twitter chat were the country representatives of UNFPA and WFP, as well as popular Ghanaian musician Trigmatic. The young people aired to take action towards Agenda 2030. Award-winning Ghanaian musician Trigmatic has urged all young people to contribute towards the achievement of the SDGs. He also advised the youth to volunteer and take advantage of opportunities available at different UN agencies like UNFPA who seek to advance the development of young people. Now, talking about safe spaces for young people, Trigmatic has called on the government to include youth in decision-making because teamwork makes the dream work. I think what, what needs to be done or what could be done for the youth of today is basically creating that sane environment, an environment filled with opportunities, an environment uh, filled with that, that, that space to create, the space to innovate. We need to create um, available hubs for them to come in and, and, and connect with like-minded people. We need to also sort of create their interest in um, wanting to find solutions to national problems and even um, um, problems across borders. Young people share thoughts on youth empowerment. The Ghana Statistical Service estimates that approximately 57% of the population is under the age of 25. These statistics reflect the need to achieve the demographic dividend. Some youth share their views on how young people can be empowered. And I think young people can be empowered through peer-to-peer -peer education. These days we are advocating for opportunities. We need to be able to express our views and what we've learned in school. And so we need a room to make mistakes. Young people now need opportunities within organizations, in their homes. We need freedom to express ourselves. Thank you very much for watching this week's broadcast of 5 Orange Vibes. Don't forget to follow all our social media platforms for more vibes. See you on our next broadcast.